Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex coming to you with a quick video while I got something cooling off in the press. Um, so this is about wallets. Obviously you know that because you probably read the title and saw the thumbnail. But um, I wanted to bring you another one that I just created. Uh, so you, you've probably seen, these are probably like the most standard, the shell style wallets. Um, I do them with a fold on the bottom and rivets down one side. Um, <clears throat> so I'd also made one very similar to that and the cutout doesn't have to be on the corner It can be on the top or uh, Or even on the bottom and just change up the style a little bit. So they're not all identical, but uh, If you saw my Instagram post I have this one on there So this is a money clip that's removable so you can just take that off and and carry that as a standalone money clip Or you can obviously leave it mounted on the wallet um, <clears throat> and then the one that's been getting probably the most attention is this guy. It's just a sandwich style wallet, but it's got a cash compartment on the back. So a couple of my friends had seen this and they said they wanted to buy one each off of me, uh, my friend Jeff and his wife. So <clears throat> I started making it and I decided that I wanted to fix one of the bugs that I found with this. Now, I love this wallet. It's probably my favorite wallet that I've used, but... Um, there is one big flaw to it, and that is simply that the cards get a little bit uh, tilted and disoriented, or sometimes they'll fan out a tiny bit inside the wallet. Um, you know, just too much pressure, or if it's at a slight angle, because it's on shock cord, it can move a little bit, so things tend to shift. Um, now, it's not a big deal. They're not going to fall out, and they're going to stay in the order you put them in, obviously, but uh, it's just kind of annoying to me. So what I did to remedy that is I created this where it's kind of a hybrid between a shell and a sandwich style so I've got a it's three layers and they're not riveted together it's still just held together with the shock cord um, it's elastic here and <clears throat> the front layer is molded and I use the same molding prop that I do on these shells so it's it's basically designed to fit just outside the diameter or the dimensions of a credit card um, and then I put a divider in the middle that's not molded at all. And on the back, we have a cache compartment that's, again, molded a little bit. And if you see there, the light glinting off, I've got a stamp now for the uh, BBCK font. That's pretty cool, a little bit bigger. Um, so I put that on the back. But <clears throat> All right, so the one thing about the cache compartment, I think I'm going to make another adjustment and have a kind of a divot in the Kydex so that there's a spot where it kind of pins the money down so that even if you only have one bill in there it'll hold it nice and sturdy uh, right now I have not not a lot of bills in here tens of dollars guys tens of dollars yeah so this is only this is only five bills folded um, but you can see it it goes in really easy you don't have to fight with it at all the only thing is you could probably shake it out of there. So my thought is if it's in your pocket, obviously you don't have to worry about that much. Um, but if I put that divot there, you'll never have to worry about it. And the reason that I mold it up is just so that it's easy to get a corner of the, of the bills under the Kydex so you can push it all in there easily. So anyway, so this is for Jeff um, and one for his wife as well. So this one is in police blue and the divider is black. I don't know how well you can see the, the color difference on camera there. But I thought that was a pretty cool idea and the cards stay put. It's very comfortable and uh, I'll probably make one of these for myself because I think it's superior to the last design. And this is the one that I made for her. So this is in Mossy Oak Elements and I think it's just called Mossy Oak Elements Purple or Purple Haze or something. It's, it's on a purple base as you can see and really cool color. And the divider in this one is black. And you can see this, the stamp came out a little bit stronger on this one, but I got to work on uh, not catching the border of the stamp, or maybe I got to have the stamp trimmed down a little bit more. But any which way, I think these came out really nice. And uh, if you're interested in these, they do take a little bit more work, so I'm charging just a, a little more. But <clears throat> $35 and $40 if you want it shipped anywhere in the continental U.S. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. God bless.